Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow uh, cigar smokers. Welcome to another edition of Living Simply Fun. I am your host, um, Rita. I'm going to be reviewing tonight the Brickhouse Maduro. I do want to say, for the record, since this is my video and I'm not going to interrupt Aaron and his videos, that I would have preferred this to be the 6x60 because that smoked for four hours. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm going to be pairing this and working on my voice at the same time with you. Something called the Dark Horse. Now, the Dark Horse, I had one little sip of it. And just so you know, I hope it works out with this cigar because this wine, from what I remember... Uh, it's a red blend. Is um, first she made a mistake. It's Dark Horse Winery, and this is their big red blend, blend number thirty-three dash one. Okay, first of all, I want to say it's sweet, but it's tart. It's more tart, and I'm one of those that I like a good wine that's sweet but not tart. I found a lot of Cabernet Sauvignons to be very tartish. So, and no, not like a girl who's a tart. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be a little humorous here. So, anywho, here we go. First, I'm just going to smell the foot. Or the foot this end? Or is it this end? Anyways, I'm going to smell the end. The foot is where you light. Okay. So the I'll cap is where you smoke. So, this brick house... <laughs> and here comes Moppy. This brick house, I'm not picking up much, but... Could be oh. my smoke lingering in the air, too. We're doing two different videos because I got a different cigar than she does today. I told him not to interrupt me in Sorry. this video. He tells me to shut up in his video, so... I said it's both our videos on both of these, though. It's just I can't really help you with it. Fine. That. I'm going to ask him then. I'm smelling only oats. Are you picking up anything besides it? Yeah, something rather sweet. Uh, maybe a honeyish smell. <sighs> yeah, I'm picking up honey smell and alfalfa. All right, so since you guys have gotten two, almost three minutes out of me for just let's see how she toasts, shall we? Oh, and by the way, just so you know, what Aaron was talking about, take a picture of this being a really good eagle torch lighter that he's talking about. Compared to this, which is only good for a good cutter, this is a, uh, no, four, burn, a four burner, barely, barely four burner torch lighter. It's full lighter. of fluid right now. We haven't been able to use any of the fluid because it just won't stay lit. For more than a second, I've turned the flame up, turned it down, it won't stay lit. That was like a $60 lighter that we got free. But and it, then it's garbage. They gave us this one, which is semi garbage. Wasn't this a Bugatti? Oh, no, it's a Moretti. <laughs> the Bugatti was even worse. It lasted us, what, one day, mm -hmm. I think? That at least has been pretty, pretty good, that orange one you got. That might be the Bugatti. I'm not sure. This is Twin Flame. Oh, I know it's a Twin Flame. I just don't know who makes it. You know, I've never had any luck with Calibri either. Problem with it is, is because of me, it's me and my hand-eye coordination. I can never cook off the bottom part, so sometimes my... You mean you don't always get an even light. With a twin and sometimes you overlight and scorch it. See, I finally got it, but... Now you started a little bit of a run. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I'm not good. I should just have Aaron do that, these. That's part of her LD issue, so don't go making fun of her for not knowing how to exactly light it. She's always had problems with it. Uh, this is a Jetline by Jetline. But you know what? You got to have some Be careful, appreci uh, some appreciation that she at least tries to enjoy a fine cigar now and then. A lot of women won't do that. So first initial hit is is 
is hmm that sweetness that Aaron was smelling it's got a a honey taste to it yeah it tastes like honey usually Connecticut is usually a mild cigar but we'll see about this one hmm now let's see how it pairs with the wine would you like a hit of this? No, I've had one already. A Connecticut? Yes. You didn't review we it? We bought one each, but I ended up buying not enough for the weekend, so I ended up smoking mine, and you still had yours, and because I bought other things, you never got around to smoking it, so today's the day. It's got a lot and a lot. Of smoke. This would be something that some people truly would love to have as a cigar. In my true opinion of a cigar smoker, the Connecticut is just a really great cigar. Well, this is your first example of it, so we'll see how it plays out through the rest of this. And by the way, for those who are curious about why we're doing two videos, if I'm talking about the Rocky Patel Edge, and she's talking about uh, A110, sorry, the Rocky Patel Edge A110, and if she's talking about the uh, Brickhouse Connecticut, then um, what if you guys get confused about which cigar we're talking about? So I'm trying to leave her video for just hers, and then I got a video going separately for just mine. So she started a little behind me. And so you I all, smoke faster anyway. So I just wanted to say before we uh, do it, uh, we will both meet you at the third, uh, the first third, and we'll go from there, right? Yep. Now, before I log off, I just want to say, because Aaron had this plan set up, I love it when a plan comes together. See you on the first third of either mine or Aaron's. Look for him soon. Hey everyone, welcome back to my uh, cigar review. This is uh, first third. So far, I gotta say, the only thing I am picking up in this cigar so far is um, roasted nuts and that honey smell, or ro roasted oats, I should say. Um, this is just, in my opinion, and I've said this before, and I'll say this again for any of you um, uh, watching this, is that this cigar is, um, well, it's a mild cigar. This is not no full body or medium. This is a full, full mild cigar. Most, um... You mean full flavored mild cigar? No, or it means... Mild flavored mild cigar. This is one that you'd start out with if you were a beginner. But as you all know, Aaron thinks that you should get into complex cigars as soon as possible. No, I think so that you know what to expect from cigars so that you can taste the flavors. The, a full flavored mild body is the best to go with. Um, as I said with mine, mine's kind of a full flavored... Uh, very mild body. Um, I, I pick up that there's flavor there. I just can't determine the flavors, though. Um, not very easily. Well, I can't pick up many flavors in this cigar, but I so will maybe, tell... No, sorry. Anyways, for some of you out there, including you guys, you you good, boy, good old boys over at Desert, I'm honored that you still are watching our videos. But yeah, I, if I'm going you. to... If I'm going to be doing a video and practicing my voice, Senior D, uh, Mouthy the, over there should be quiet while I'm doing my video. So, this cigar, in my opinion, is mild, has a mild flavor, no burn issues pretty much that I can see for being a brick house. Uh, isn't brick house made by Room 101? I don't know who makes brick house. Anyways, in my opinion, I get more flavor out of a nub Connecticut than this and I've smoked a lot of Connecticut's in my life and all of them in my opinion have been mild 
For Connecticut's like this, the flavors are just simple. You have, um, you have like one or two flavors to pick them. I'm picking up honey and oats. Let's just say this is the honey and oat cigar. Mm -hmm. And because I'm on the first third, I can say for a fact that this cigar pairs very nicely with this wine. So, I hope for you out there will give me the benefit of the doubt and enjoy watching the second third because there's nothing much to report in this video. I mean, I'm going to be getting a, a very short video here because, you know, there's nothing much to say. It's a simple, non-complex smoke. It's got a lot of, a lot of burn. Uh, it burns very evenly and it smokes like a dream. That that's the main thing is. So if anything changes, I will let you know. But for right now, there's nothing to report. So there you have it. Please look for my second third. Thank you. Welcome back, everyone, to my video, uh, part three of the Brick House, Connecticut. So far, nothing's changed except my smoking it slow. So if you can see, I got a small tunnel coming. You mean, yeah, a tunnel. Anyways, other than that, the cigar has smoked really good. Compliments the wine. And, um, sorry, I like to keep my glasses off. It makes my face more, well, fuller without glasses. So. It's got a lot of smoke. This has got a good flavor, uh, except for Moppy Dog under the desk. He's um, saying that Mama's cigar is not. It's stinky. He's stinky, and then he clings like to cigars. his fur, and then he's like, "Mommy, I smell." He don't like them much. So anyway, since uh, Desert Smoke knows that we're doing two separate reviews, I'm just gonna say, I'm glad you guys. I hope you're still with us. This video is just, you know, I'm thinking about picking up three more cigars this month to review. The Rocky Patel, my friends, I got it on paper, but I'd like to do review and maybe have a little wine doing it at the same time like Aaron's got us doing. So, that would be cool. And if I can, maybe I'll pick up a box of wine to stretch it out for three days so I can actually do the wine review properly. So, I'll let you know. I think Carlo Rossi Paisano might go good with some of these cigars. And yes, my nails are blue. So, this cigar smokes like a dream. Only uh, two tunnels I had to fix because they were my problems. Otherwise, the flavors... Yeah, you ran to the bathroom and left it for a moment. And that's what started your tunnel. The flavor in this has changed mildly and went from honey oats to alfalfa and hay purely. But that's what happens when you get to another third, you know. May I ask a question during yours? Yes. Uh, just a curiosity for you, all of you out there. Sorry, I'll try to pop my head up here. Um, if you're smoking a cigar and you really got to go, do you leave it in the uh, other room and go to the bathroom, or do you take it with you with an ashtray so that you keep puffing on it? Risk a tunnel or risk getting gross stuff on it? Uh, just a question. <laughs> and by the way, just so you all know, for this video review, since I've made mine very short because the flavors hasn't changed, there's nothing much. I want to say drinking wine and smoking this is better than the alternative tonight of being outside smoking and freezing when you got uh, a blizzard outside. Don't de give me any reprimand on a, what the definition of a blizzard is. Your dog. The definition of blizzard is all the snow coming down outside still. <laughs> nice foot in the video. <laughs> At least you're not wearing holy socks. Well, for some of you out there, give it 68 more days. And when I do a review video, which he's not going to let me, after I have 
Hmm. First hmm. surgery, he's going to tell me I can't smoke, but you know what? I should smoke one just for you all. I can't drink in the video because of the meds, but I will do what I can for you all, the cigar smokers. He will take a, and give us a nice little cigar sampler that we can sample while we're there. Hell, maybe we'll get two um, Buzzards Banquets uh, 4s or the CAO Champion 2 and sample those while we're on our vacation. Maybe. I don't know. It's up to Aaron. He does the choices. kind of wish I, I could get them. you that Davidoff pack. The Tubos. Mm, I might be buying well, those, so I'll let you, you know. Then you and me can both try them. Yes, if I buy the Davidoff packs, he's buying the wine. <laughs> and it ain't going to be any, it's going to be a gallon of wine. So, with that said, everyone, look for the final part. So far, there's nothing I can give it anything. I do want to say that if you can get your hands on any Burkhouse 6x60s, you will be amazed at how long it burns. But you like this one, too. This one's good, too. I By believe way, this is a Toro. We're almost an hour and a half in on a Toro. So, it's a still a long-burning cigar, even though it's not your 6x60 that was four hours. Yes, so uh, please add... Uh, sorry, please look for... Video number four in the final You'll video. You'll return. Thank you, and I will return. Good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to my part of the Brick House. First of all, i got to say the wine goes with it immensely. Uh, so far, the only thing I'm picking up right now is it's changed flavor again to uh, bur uh, barley and uh, barley and uh, hops. And if you know anything, I smoked a lot of cigars with barley and hops. So, shall we get down to the final third? Let's do this. So far, the cigar is a very good cigar, very mild. If you ever get any of those mild cigar samplers that say, oh, the Connecticut sampler where you get like 20 cigars from various companies, well, let's just say these cigars are mostly for uh, beginners. Now, for some of you out there, and Aaron has converted me, bad Aaron, I am also now, as well as an Oliva girl, I am a Camacho girl. I've not become a, a um, Victor St. Clair girl because those cigars are just beginner cigars and most of them suck. Well, they are. I'll, I'll say this. They were not beginner cigars. They were very, very high nicotine levels. Uh, yeah, they were almost dizzy to try to smoke the whole thing. However, he needs to realize, crushing his head, crushing his head, that... He forgot to mention that if you get two or three people smoking them in one room with no ventilation, you're going to be very sick and you're going to want to barf if uh, you're smoking the Victor St. Clair. Yeah, because the nicotine affects you just being in the room with the smoke. Um, and with these, the one I'm smoking, the Rocky Pavel Edge A10, and the Brick House, there's no problem with the room smell. Uh, it's not overpowering. There's not a lot of nicotine floating around. Let me like. just say, if I had to choose between the Connecticut and the Maduro for beginners, the Connecticut would be for the beginners because it's just a mild cigar. You want the Burkhouse Maduro, you can have full, full, um, flavor and be a, say you're an expert in cigar smoking. May I don't know if you'd classify me as an expert or an intermediate when it comes to cigar smoking. I summoned him. Summoning him is bad. Come here, Moppy. You don't can, let me clean his eye. He can be in the video with me. So, in my opinion, I say that the Brick House is a good cigar. Um, I gotta ask Aaron something before I give my rating. And Moppy is with me. Hi, Moppy. What is the price of the brick house if you bought it for me? Uh, I think it was about eight fifty. Um, and I'll tell you, I had one of these earlier last month, and I haven't been chiming in much because I don't remember it too well. 
He's but, gonna want to be in the video because of no, thank you. Desert smoke. Um, what I I would say though is that I remember I had a few construction errors with it, uh, which may have been because it wasn't dry box long enough or it was too dry and it hadn't humidified enough. Couldn't tell you the answer on that. Um, Rita's is obviously much better than mine was. Um, I would have only given it about a seven, where the Madura I would have given it about ten. Um, that we had. So, um, well, she's leaving me to talk. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really can't say much on the flavors. I, I do remember I kind of liked the flavor of it. Um, it's just, it wasn't my cup of tea. And I really wouldn't spend the money on that one for myself again, but the Maduro I would. So, and she's still not back. Um, anyways, um, hmm. Anyways, I want to say to you all, my cigar reviewers watching this or looking to purchase, if you want a good, good cigar and you really want a decent cigar, I would recommend, and you can find it at cigar.com, cigar uh, International. Uh, I believe Holtz might have one. They're called the Brick House Samplers. You get five cigars for like 25 bucks. And I recommend you try them because it has probably all of the ones that Brick House produces. They just have two, the Maduro and the Connecticut. I don't know. They have various you get five different or six sizes cigars. Is, you know, it might be a flight sampler. But the point is, look it up if you want to save a few bucks instead of paying $8 a stick at a cigar um, shop. In my um, yeah, and if opinion. you have a local big smoke or whatever, they'll probably carry them. Uh, it's a very common cigar to find in the cigar shops. Um, the Maduro is definitely my favorite, though. Uh, I think that's Rita's favorite too. I like the Maduro because it is a full. We uh, it's a full-bodied cigar. Full flavor, complex, and the Madura is also large if you get the 6 by 60 So, with that said, everyone, in my opinion, because I rate everything based off certain cigars and certain things, I'm going to give this cigar a flat 8 because mm -hmm. it's just... Uh, as for the wine, what do you have to say about that? I'll, I'll say that the alcohol content had to have been higher than the one we tried the other day. Um... The one the other day, laugh out loud, <laughs> was 14%. This is 13.5%. Really? Yes. This is affecting me far more than that one, though. It's the flavor. I'm actually drunk, I think. <laughs> well, I, I should not be driving a car, that's for sure. I wanted to say, because there's a girl I know, Jessie Girl, who... Watches our channel. I don't have to not she take my thinks muscle relaxer tonight. Aaron is cute, and she says... Why, thank you. She says, drink as much wine as possible. <laughs> I'm going to, girl. I'm going to. But truthfully, the wine, because it's a wine, it's a California blend, I do want to make one statement before we go, because me, uh, my wine... Would you fix this for me for a second? I was having a... Um, yeah, you're some wine, and the other day when I bought it, this is the bottle I bought, by the way. It was like eight ninety nine plus tax. Yeah, yours was a more expensive one. Anyways, funny thing is, is I figured I'd buy the wine because if you didn't know, Aaron being a sweetheart that he is when we went shopping, decided to get me some girly hair stuff because he wants me to be a redhead and he wants me to wear bows in my hair so you can see and he's a sweetheart so thank you anyway the, the wine the was the apothic dark and the wine that I bought while we were choosing the wine I want to tell you a story before I give you the wine rating he looked at me and he says hun I thought Vendangi was off the market yes it was uh, there was a report that came out about asbestos in their wine 70 types of wine, Vindangi was one of them. So, now the wine, in my opinion, I think you need to ladle off the wine. 
it's empty. You drank the rest? You drank more I, than me. I actually poured you more. Well, I'm going and to no, have to get some more. we went about half and half. I poured it for Would you almost like every more? time I poured. You yeah. got any more cigars? No. I got a reckoning. Maybe I'll do a review tonight and have some more wine. Mm, stay away from it. What? See, I got to watch for her because she's got tendencies towards alcoholism. And, uh... He drank more than me. No, last we drank night, the same. I drank more than him the last bottle. <laughs> Anyways, I got to make sure that she doesn't drink too much because uh, she gets a little loopy if she's had too much. And not in a good way. <laughs> Her loopiness usually includes being ar argumentative and combative. That's if I drink tequila. Anything, honestly. Tequila. Some pretty viewers out there. Anyways, the wine I give it a 10, and uh, just so you, for the record for you all, I tried to get him to get the the uh, six ninety at uh, the five ninety nine special at Fred Meyer's, where he bought the first wine of uh, Carlo Rossi Paisano and a half gallon jug. Now you see, to me, Carlo Rossi is something that you get to keep around to have as a table wine. What you have is like one glass a night, and you share it with like two or three people at dinner each night. It's not something that you drink to get drunk on. Uh, uh, Rita, on the other hand, she will continue drinking until half the gallon is gone. And that's a bad thing. What I'm trying to say is Carlo Rossi Paisano isn't a table wine. There is a Carlo Rossi table wine that's a table wine. That's the one that you want with the your meals. Technicalities. Then you got the other ones, Chablis and uh, Cabernet. You have all these half gallons by Carlo Rossi's, and it's just different flavors. I do not like the Chianti, and I don't like their Sangria. But I've been a wine expert for a long time, thanks to my mother. So, in my opinion... And if you saw the end of my video, then you would know that it went out on me much further. This is getting close to where I like to have my cigars end. Because, to me, smoking down until it's burning my fingertips, that is when I realize I've gotten the most out of my cigar. I've smoked every bit that I possibly can. I don't like to waste. Uh, I can't afford to waste. Because... They cost We're on money. a fixed income, so every cigar we try to utilize to the full, full extent. In fact, this might be our last review for the month until next month, depending. Nope, I'm we've picking talked up about three getting, cigars. We've talked about Rocky getting the Dunhill. We talked about getting the Dunhill uh, sampler of tubas. If I buy the Dunhill sampler in the next 24 hours. I get two tubos. You get one tubo. You're buying the Carlo Rossi gallon wine for those reviews. I'm probably buying a wine. Maybe not Carlo Rossi. It better be Carlo Rossi. We'll see. So I rather do something we've never had before and actually do a we've review. We've never of done it. a review of Carlo Rossi. And again, for those who were wondering, the wine is uh, the original Dark Horse Big Red Blend number uh, number thirty three dot one. So, anyways, you can see we're kind of getting argumentative because I know wines, he knows wines. And we're both tipsy. And we're both Doesn't tipsy. Doesn't help. And I should find, uh, you know, etc. So, and that means I don't take my sleeping pill tonight because <laughs> I cannot mix it with And I alcohol. can't take my muscle relaxer, so I hope my cramps don't hit <laughs> up tonight. If it's I've had chronic cramping since I was 13. And they put me on muscle relaxers, and that finally seems to have made it so I have a better night's sleep. Anyway. Not the best, but still, it's better. Anyways, for some of you out there, I just wanted to say, um, he drank more wine than me, and don't argue with me, Aaron. So, I give the wine a 10, even though, uh, at first I said it was a dry wine, so... Anyways, I better and fuse... There you go. That is my nub. I'm burning fingertips just holding it to show you. Anyways... I'm done. <laughs> anyways, for all of you out there, please add, please subscribe, please post comments, leave feedback and suggestions. And yes, uh, Monty, 
Wyatt, Justin, I'm sorry he's out of the video again. <laughs> But this we do Wyatt. hope that you had a Happy New Year's and a Merry Christmas as well. And I just got to say to the boys over at of, uh, Desert Smoke, and I'm going to say it since I'm tipsy, I want some new reviews, you you three. You've been slacking for almost a year. Slacker. And you know, doing my head like this, I feel like doing the Mortal Kombat thing. whoop <laughs> Sorry, I had to. It's been on my mind all night. <laughs> Test your mic. Do, do, Anyways, do, do, this do. is 14 minutes for the end of years. We there you go. go. Please add and subscribe post Oh, you never gave your suggestion. wine. You never gave your wine overall. My overall was a 10. I just said that. And what he about is, the pairing? Uh, the pairing, I would say it was more likely an 8. Even though it's a mild cigar, it still goes good. And for some of you out there, before I go, I do want more wine and more cigar time tonight. <laughs> so, with that said, good night, and please comment.